Hey, Shelby, are you ready? Yeah. 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 You're finished. Welcome back to the CLB News Team. Here's what's happening this week. My name is Adam Paget from the CLB News Team. I'm going to talk about The Wizard of Oz. This, this book is published by 1988. It stars Dor Dorothy Gale from Kansas. She does a big twist of Blue Dorothy to the land of Oz. She meets all kinds of characters. Like the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, the Lion, and some evil person, the okay, Witch of the West. She's trying to take Dorothy's slippers away from her. And Dorothy gets pretty angry at the witch. She tossed the water over the witch and, and she melted. And then they went to the Emerald City to ask the Wizard of Oz for some help. A book, a brain for the scarecrow, heart from the tin man, courage for a lion, and Dorothy to get back home to Kansas to with her Aunt M. This is my preservation of the Wizard of Oz. This is Steve Adam Patrick signing off. Thank you very much. Hey, sports fans. This is your sports reporter, Brad Cook, for the CLB News Team. And this week is all about book recommendations. The book that I'm recommending this week is a book called Wonder. It's by RJ Palacio. The book talks about, like, different stories in life in general, and it mostly talks about a girl named August and her story. So I highly recommend you read this book and check it out and see if you liked it. To sports now. The Toronto Maple Leafs won one to nothing on Austin Matthews 39th goal of the season against the Winnipeg Jets. Can they beat them again? Tune in on Saturday for hockey night in Canada on Sportsnet. The, in NBA news, the Toronto Raptors are taking on the Los Angeles Clippers. And you can watch that game tomorrow on Sportsnet 1. In NFL news, the Baltimore Ravens are in the playoffs taking on the Kansas City Chiefs in the AFC Championship game. Hopefully the Ravens will win and you can watch the game on TSN. And finally, in tennis, the Australian Open is going to the quarterfinals now and you can watch all those games on TSN. This has been your sports slash book recommendation update. I am Brad Cook from the CLB News Team signing off. Now, what is your favorite book that you recommend we read? Hi, everyone. I am Sarah VC with the CLB News Team. The birthdays in CLB is Marcelia, January the 27th. Then we have Anthony Lee, January the 28th. We got Jeffrey Deborah, January the 29th. We got Kyle Stewart, January the 29th. That's all the January's birthdays. Then in February, so, one more birthday in January is Justin Kimmelink. 
January is 34th. Then we have I shall be in February. We have Christina at February the 6th. Then we have Susan W. February the 6th. I want to shout out with Jordan Lynn. February the 8th. So I want to wish everyone a great ha happy birthday. So my book is Full House. I love Full House because I really like Mary Kate and Ashley. The book and I got the DVDs. So I am Sarah and I'm signing off for this week. Okay. Hi, this is Jeff from the COB News Team. And this week I'll be talking about one of the greatest basketball players of all time, LeBron James. And the book that I am reading right now with a lot of basketball players in it. LeBron James was born on December 30th, 1984 in Akron, Ohio. He is, also, he is an American National Basketball Association player. His nickname is King King James. He is widely regarded as one of the best basketball players in the sport of basketball. He was selected first in the first round of the 2003 NBA draft selected by the Cleveland Cavaliers. His first career with the Cavaliers was from 2003 to 2010, where he got the Rookie of the Year award in the 2004 year. He then went to the Miami Heat for from 2010 to 2014, where he won two championships in 2012 and 2013, and also won the 2012 and 2013 Finals MVP awards. He went he went back to the Cavaliers from. 2014 to 2018, where he would won a championship with them in 2016 in the finals MVP award, also in 2016. Finally, he joined the LA Lakers from 2018, and he is still playing for them today and won a championship with them and again the MVP award in 2020 with them. He also helped the Lakers win the NBA Cup and was the MVP for the tournament in, 20, in December 2023. He has been to 19 NBA All-Star Games winning three MVP titles there and as well. He he has won two Olympic gold medals in the Summer Olympics of 2008 and 2012 and a bronze medal in 2004 Summer Olympics. James is six feet nine inches tall. James is married to his high school sweetheart Savannah James and they were married in September 2013. They have two sons, Bronny and Bryce, and they have a daughter named Zura, Zuri. He has starred in a few movies as well. The one I liked is the Space Jam 2 that came out in two theaters in July 2021 and made 
163.7 million in the box office. LeBron James, LeBron is a fan, fantastic basketball player. LeBron James is the leader, the leading scorer in the NBA with 39,452 points. My favorite book I'm reading right now is called Basketball's Greatest Stars by Michael Grand Grange for fourth edition. It was published in 2018. It profiles the best NBA players of all time. I love the stories and the photos in the this book. It also pro profile all the NBA teams in the book as well. For CLB News, this is Jeff H. signing off. Hi, my name is Thomas Sheeran. I will be talking about a video game that came out in 2017 called Super Mario Odyssey. Mario must travel to worlds unknown in order to stop Bowser from marrying Princess Peach. What happens is that, um, that when Mario's in different worlds, Princess Peach is uh, is in Bowser's uh, lair, and Bowser's setting up a, a wedding for um, her and Bowser. And then when Mario comes, Mario becomes Bowser, and then um, Peach doesn't know. So then. Mario tries to transform back to a old self. And then next, what happens is that when Princess Peach gets saved, then uh, Princess Peach uh, gets uh, mad at Bowser and then gets married with um, Mario with his uh, white uh, wedding suit on. And when he's traveling through worlds to get to the castle, Mario uses a cap with um, eyes, two white eyes. And then at the end, Bowser's dead. And then Mario and Princess Peach gets um, married to be happily ever after. And it's for Nintendo Switch. And I believe it's for Nintendo Wii also, if nobody has ever played it. It's best to play it on Nintendo Switch because it's hard to control a Wii controller. And the cast is... Kate Higgins, Pauline, Kenny James, Bowser, Yuki, Kadera, Harrit, Charles Metnet, who can who voices all the Mario characters, Mario, Go Shinema, Rango, and Toraskawa, Parabones. Ted Morgan, Laketu, Brian Cummings, Torque Drift. That's he's in the cameo. Yoshi's a cameo. The actor's name is Kazuma Totoka and Noyaki Yama Topper. Samantha Kelly plays Princess Peach and Cappy Shoei Hamas Hans Tatsu. This is Tyler Sheeran signing off.
weather with Dave, and this is what's happening this week. On Monday, June 22nd, we're going to have some snow, and it's going to continue all the way through the night. On Tuesday, January 23rd, we're going to have some more snow, and it's going to continue all the way through the night. On Wednesday, January 24th, we're going to have some clouds, and at night, it's going to rain. On Thursday, January 25th, we're going to have some rain and it's going to continue all the way through the night on friday january 26th we're going to have some more rain and it's going to continue all the way through the night here's your weekend on saturday january 27th we're going to have some clouds and at night more clouds on sunday january 28th we're going to have some more snow and it's going to continue all the way through the night all those days that's going to be raining it's going to freeze so be very careful out there this has been your weather with dave remember Stay safe. Hola, CLB. I'm Chris Stafford, and uh, today I'm going to be reporting on Sid Meier's Civilization VI. In Civilization VI, you have six goals. No, sorry, you have five goals. You can either win by religion, win by domination, win by advancing your city to the futuristic era, or win by... Um, being ba basically having the highest score in the game. The higher your score, the better your chances of winning. The way your score divides is through domination, to expanding your cities, to expanding your empire. The, the more cities you have, the more the more capable, the more domination you will have in place. The more apostles you have, the more religion you'll have in place, and the more um allies you have the less likely you will get dominated yourself you can control of uh, one of the major characters in the game you can control alexander the great then you have another one would have uh, would be queen victoria she controls england and then you have king philip ii he controls spain then you have his last name is gandhi he was also known he controls india and then you have um, Japan's ruler, which is uh, Hojo. Is, well, in Japan, they always say their last name first, but it's Hojo, Toki, Ho, Hojo Toki Moon. And then you have Queen 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 Jin Huang, which is China. he is the he was the one that was he was the one that um, became the first emperor of China. After the Jin Dynasty founded the after Jin Dynasty the Jin Dynasty founded the uh, the the land of China back in the back in the Dynasty area, or oh, no, sorry back in the Dynasty era, you can also play as um, Gorgo, who is the first queen of Sparta, and then you can also play as the Theomesticlides. Who is the warlord of? Well, actually, technically, he's not a warlord, but he is more of a philosopher. My favorite, my favorite character. Or, sorry, not not just my favorite character, but my favorite ruler that I like in the game is the Ho Hojo. I like him. The reason why I like him is because you could do, you could actually control the samurais. Uh, samurais were used in the war of back in 1590 to 1615 and then after the japan got united if my history remembers myself um if you guys have, have ever seen um that real life story of captain um he was an american captain and he was played by tom cruise and he goes to japan to teach the the samurai's warfare tactics but there's a twist the the emperor of Japan doesn't want the, the doesn't want the samurais to exist anymore. They want the Western culture to be finally adapted into Japan. But anyway, that's beside the point. So that's why I like playing as Japan is because Japan is basically um, one of my favorite characters. And if I had the case with me, I would show you because I got it from the library. So uh, if you guys have the Nintendo Switch. I highly suggest that you get it. I know that they made Sid Meier's Civilization 6 for the PS5 and the Xbox Series X as well, but it is more popular on the Switch because um, you actually feel like you're playing a board game. 
And not to mention by the matter of the fact that Simulator Civilization was a board game too, and it still is. Okay, so where you can buy it is you can buy it at your local GameStop, or if you have a if you live in Burlington like me, there is a gaming place on Brant Street in Upper Middle called Game Haven. I highly suggest you buy in there because the person who owns the store is a he is a the best of what he does. His knowledge of video games is is vast. So until until next time, this is Chris Haver from the CLB News Team signing up. Make sure you stay warm in the cold, and if you do decide to go, make sure you wear non-slick boots because it's really slippery out there. I almost fell and going out there. So have a nice week, and I'll see you I'll see you guys in two weeks. Peace. Thank you for watching the CLB News Team, and we'll see you next time in two weeks.